hello friends welcome to part two of the video uh, i hope that you have already watched part one in which uh, we just watched the blood sweat and tears music video of bts and in this video uh, we will understand the meaning of the lyrics of that song here i have already written down the lyrics in korean and i will explain everything uh, phrase by phrase so let's start from the very first uh, the name of the song that is P Tamnun Mul. So P is blood. Okay. And Tam is sweat. And Nun Mul is the tears. So maybe you already know the word Nun. Nun means eye, eyes. And Mul means water. So you can guess that Nun Mul is the water that comes out from eyes that is tears so p tam nun mul that you already know this right and with all these three words we use the verb nada so if you want to say that blood is coming out or you are sweating or the tears are coming out of your eyes for all these things you will use the word nada like piga nada tami nada nun muri nada okay so now let's uh, start from the first line of the lyrics. Ne, ne is my. So we all use che as honorific, but generally in songs we get the non-honorific form that is ne. So it, it has it has been made with the word na, na is I, so ne is my. So my blood, sweat and nunmul. Ne majimak chumul. Chum is dance. And Maji Mag means last. So my last dance. Tha Khajyo Kha. Tha is all. And Khajyo Khada is to take away something. Or to bring or depending on the context. But here it means just take away. Khajyo Kha. So just take away my blood, sweat and tears. And also my last dance. So these are all repetitions. And here again we have ne pi tam nun mul do. Do is like also as well. And then ne mom. Here we have three words. Mom, which means body. And then we have the word mom, which means heart or emotions. And then we have word yong hun, which means soul so my body and also my body my heart and my soul noi got noi means yours your right noise you so e is just like a possessive particle which leads like apostrophe s or off in english so noi means your and got is like thing something like egot chogot so got is thing so noi got means your thing like your belonging belonging to you no e go sin gol chal algo is chal alda is to know chal algo itta is knowing well chal is well so i know it very well that my blood sweat and tears my heart body and emotion everything belongs to you everything is yours egon egon is like this e this naril pol pakke he chumun hal chumun chumun is like a spell so these are all this is a spell that will punish me pol phatta pol or chobol means punishment and phatta is like to get to receive so pakke hada is to make someone do something so it will this spell will make me get punished get punished and then all these are like english words but noi nalge nalge means wings okay noi your your wings are angmai got is a got is again thing and e is just nothing but possessive particle angma means devil 
so your wing is a thing from devil so it belongs to your wings belong to devil then it says noi kus noise again your ku is that that sweet of yours a pen a pen like in front of like in front of that sweet of yours is bitter bitter kiss me a pado de a pado de there is this pattern a do sorry a do de means even if it is okay even if and apda means to hurt apda okay to hurt even if it hurts kiss me also nal choyo cho choida is a word which means to squeeze to choke something or someone also is like palli fast quickly and nal is nothing but naral me so choke me quickly and kiss me even if it hurts tho isang apul sudopke tho isang is like more so more apul apda is again to be hurt apul sudo opta means so that it doesn't hurt anymore choke me quickly so that it doesn't hurt anymore baby chui he do thoe chui he da again this pattern has been used and the word is chui hada chui hada means to get high to get drunk so it's okay even to get drunk to get high is a nol thuri kho thuri kit thuri kita is like to take something in mok khipsuki khip mok is your neck and throat and khip suki is like deep deep inside noran whiskey so i'm taking in now i'm taking in deep inside my throat noran whiskey noran it's like a uh, kind of people don't use this word it's very kind of poetic in poetic sense it has been used noran whiskey whiskey is just whiskey the alcohol so noran means uh like a whiskey like you so the the, the person has been uh symbolized as whiskey so i have taken uh you as whiskey inside deep inside my throat so it's okay when if i get high get drunk again in this one it's repetition and here it's von hada which means to want something to want and money you must be knowing already is like a lot many or something so i want you i want you a lot and these are repetitions then apado de again the same thing if it's okay even if it hurts nal mukho cho mukta is the word here here mukta means to tie something up tie up tie up something cho whenever you see this word cho is like you are asking for a favor do this for me so he is asking please tie me up even if it hurts nega thomang chilsu apke thomang chida means to run away to flee so tie me up so that i can't run away kwa chigo is like hold me tight kwa is like very tightly kwa chigo nal naral hundro cho hundal da is to shake something hundro cho hold me tight and shake me nega jongshin mut charige jongshin charida is a word it's used very commonly in korea like someone if someone is like absent minded or is not behaving in a proper way like you let's say you are drunk or something or, or in any say if, if you don't have consciousness in, you're not in your senses then people sometimes shake you and say jongshin jom charyo shakya you must have seen this in drama like people saying this jongshin jom charyo so come to your senses so here it's saying that jongshin mot charige so that's exactly opposites that's why i said in the last video that it's very poetic 
that shake me so that I don't come to my senses. So the, uh, like he doesn't want to come to his senses. Okay. Uh, kiss me on the lips. Lips. Thul mani pimil. Thul is like two. Man. Only two. A pimil. Pimil is secret. So a secret between only two of us. A secret of only two people. Noran kamuk. Again, this noran word has come. It can mean two things. It can mean uh, you. Generally, when we say like noran yoja, it's like a, a girl like you. But here it's noran kamuk. Kamuk is prison. So a prison, a jail, like you. Like you are a jail. Okay. So a chungdok de kipi. A chungdok de da is to be addicted. He feels like deeply. So you are a jail, a prison to which I am addicted deeply. Niga anin tharan saram samgiji mothe. Niga anin, like someone who is not you, like someone else. Tharan saram. Tharan saram is like someone else, other person. Samgida is like to serve. Mothe is like can't. I can't. I can't serve anyone other than you because I am addicted to the prison that you are. Almyon Zodo Samkyo Boring Togi Tin Songbe. Songbe is like Holy Grail, the cup that Jesus uh, used at Last Supper. It's a biblical reference. And Almyon Zodo, Alda is to know. So while knowing, like knowingly, Samkyo porin thogi. Thog is poison. So a poison that I drank from the Holy Grail knowingly that there is poison in it. Then again, it's repetition of the same thing. Bonhe mani mani. Again, repetition. Now let's see the next verse. Naral pudrop ke chugyo cho. That's interesting. Naral is me, Pudropta is softly, softly, and Chugyo Cho is like kill me. Chugida, Chugida, to kill. So kill me softly. How does one kill softly? Okay, Noi Som Killo Nun Kamyo Cho. Your son kill. Son is hand. So kill is a road or way. But in Korean, son kill is used like your hands, like your palm or something. Noon eyes. Kamgyo cho. Kamgida is, kamgida is to like cover the eyes, close the eyes. So close my eyes with your hands. So kill me softly and close my eyes with your hands. Or chapi. Kobu hal sujo chop so. Or chappi is like anyway, anyway, khobu hada. Khobu hada is to deny, sorry, refuse. So refused something or someone. Chocha, even. Khobu hal su So I can't even refuse that, even if you kill me, even if you kill me. Anyway, I won't be able to refuse that. So just kill me and close my eyes with your hand. Thonun tho is nothing but more. So thonun thomang khal su cho chop so. And I can't even run away. I won't even be able to run away. Like when you are killing me so that you can kill me easily. I can't even run away. I can't even refuse that. Niga nomu thal khome. Nomu thal khome. Because you are too sweet. Because you are too sweet. I can't even run away. I can't refuse. Nomu thal khome so. So that's it. And as I said, like as you can see, it's like a poem. It doesn't feel like I'm explaining a K-pop song. It's like it's something from literature. It's very uh, intense and very deep. And it can be interpreted in so many ways. So that's it. If you want me to 
uh, explain or analyze any other song of your choice, you can let me know in the comments and I will try my best to cover that. Thank you.